all right so what's going on guys this time welcome back to another infinite magic rare video um so yeah so their feedback just came out march 14th and then we'll, we'll just get right into it right so greeting guys as you know we focus on community opinions and adjust the game with your help me while we have a great content creator in the group they give us many fantastic ideas cards like hell yeah bro hey shout out to cards for getting into this uh their feedback uh lady so famous heel yep uh he's one of the best content creators yes he is i agree um so today we want to answer the question cards i asked we also share direction in the future development this will be interesting so <sighs> curious about what they're sharing as far as future development goes anyway so uh can we get more rewards as we mentioned adding daily login rewards has been advised by a lot of players and it's realized this feature will only will will be online this month yep uh you can claim abundant abundant daily rewards energy experience potions skill scrolls dragon eggs and you need to collect gifts manually they are not added to your account automatically so since this posting a few of these things have actually changed uh it's been i guess you could say boosted a little bit per se um personally i don't feel like this is enough right it's a start and and i like that because that means they're willing to listen to us right they're willing to listen to the community but it's not it's personally it's not enough right for the demand of for the demand that we have in game right as far as the heroes that are required to be built for the content that they want us to play this is not enough you know to be a uh it's 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 a step in the right direction right but it's not sufficient right this will the math has already been done the daily supply will give us one a5 hero in a year you know that's not gonna do us any good you know when i say us i mean the community right um but it's a start nonetheless so and it's free right you, you get you this is stuff you're getting just for logging in which is like i said it's a start and i always support that because that means hey they're at least at least they're listening to us you know at least they're hearing and understanding that we're we're we're, we're looking for a change we're looking for the bare minimum to continue to play the game we're looking for the bare minimum of progress you know what i'm saying like like this game is about growing your heroes you know i'm saying more heroes you know but if we can't even get that you know what i'm saying it's, it's it's a little bit of an issue but it's a start like i said nonetheless so that's all that's always 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 a good thing you know um looking forward to more guild gameplay okay this will be interesting uh guild is a core gameplay in infinite magic race let us, let us share our ideas First of all, the popular event World Boss Change Cha World Boss Challenge comes back on Monday. Yep, it did. Uh, call your guild mate. Call call your guild mate. Should say mates. So, and fight together against the World Boss. Next up, the rewards for the rewards of Guild Arena have been optimized, and they will be available next time. For individuals, you will earn mill ruins based on the number of flags you won. This is a new reward that did not exist before. And ranking rewards are also optimized. Mill ruins are added. So. I'm curious about how many miracle summons they're going to be adding to this. Um, I've mentioned this time and time again. I feel like we should have more of a, a refined system as far as how to get miracle runes. I've even suggested the fact that when we have we have summons every two weeks, right? We have regular summons one week. We have miracle summons the next week. I've suggested the week of miracle summons that the events during that week give rewards for miracle summons for their player base to have a way to actually get summons from miracle you know to actually get miracle summons besides just buying them you know um because all that does is just it makes the game a little bit more friendlier you know what i'm saying it gives them actually a way to get these more selective heroes versus just wishing in the general wishing pool um but like i said once again that's that's a that's a start right so furthermore we are still designing more guild content we've announced that guild vs environment gameplay will be launched this year which will be a much more strategic it may be a battle of strongholds you should discuss with your guild mates how to design your distribution of power of course more generous rewards are necessary so guild versus environment gameplay is this like a guild not necessarily a guild boss per se but like what type of content what type of content is this going to be you know um i'm curious on the theories behind that uh also the battle of strongholds what are these strongholds gonna be is it is it gonna be like a, a copy and paste of guild versus guild already or is it gonna be like something a bit more um competitive right where we might fight for towers or you know buffs and whatnot you know something a bit more interesting than what we just have right now um what's next also i'm curious about the rewards for this right generous generous rewards are necessary what do you define as generous what do you what do you think about 
when you think about generous, right? Um, what's next? In addition to guild versus environment gameplay, we have another cool thing to do. The world arena is under development. We try to add some interesting elements to it. You can place your bets on the, on the winner in the battle. So, world arena is that making like is that going to be an extension inside of arena? Is this going to be an event or is this going to be something that happens once a month every two weeks? What kind of time frame are we looking for as far as world arena goes? These are things that I like. These are things that I personally like to know. These are things that I personally like to know. Um you can place bets on the winner in the battle. So, if we place a bet on a player do does the players the players that place the bet do they get a reward for you know choosing cor the correct person that wins uh what the reward is going to be like for the winner of the world arena curious about that as well uh that's all if there's anything else you'd like to know if you have any other questions just tell us your questions might end up in the following developer feedback um yeah so that's pretty overall pretty interesting um like i said the the, the daily login it's a start it's a start to something because that just it tells me that they're willing to listen and that's always a good thing that's always a positive thing seeing that you're willing to listen means you're looking to improve and push the game into the right direction despite you know everything that's been going on recently inside of discord and the community itself so uh that's all i got for you guys today let me know what you guys think about the dev feedback i'd be interested in knowing you know do you guys like the daily login rewards what do you guys think you know what are your what are you guys' opinions about this let me know in the comments below so uh if you guys like the video do me a favor drop a like uh if you want more infinite if you want more infinite magic grade comment if you want more infinite magic grade content do me a favor subscribe to help out the channel a lot so you guys take care i'll see you guys in the next one peace